The Expired Podcast by Macy Bookout and Natalie Gard, a Chattanooga-based crime cast. Hi, and welcome back to The Expired Podcast. Um, yeah, we've been missing in action. We have been <laughs> <laughs> with Thanksgiving and strep throat and vacation. Yeah. Um, it's been a minute. I know, but, but I'm glad we're getting back. And and we really hope to ha- like produce more yeah, As we learn and it becomes easier and quicker for us. It, yeah, there, we're still um, tying up loose ends and kind of figuring things out as we go. Yeah. But I know we had talked about by the new year, like hoping to at least be steady, like if not once every two weeks, every week. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so like Natalie said, this is the expired podcast and. We had planned on covering a completely different case, mm-hmm. a cold case from our area. And as we were missing in action for, you know, life, um, something terrible and insane happened in our area. Like in our backyard. Yeah. And is like fresh right now still. Um, so we have decided to cover that first. Um, and then obviously as updates come in the future, we will be able to just come back to it, but we're going to start covering it right now. Um, but I feel like because of its viral nature, people have probably heard a little bit about it or at least know of the case. Um, because so I gonna, go out of town and it's national news, Chattanooga. It's everywhere. I was shocked because this could have been me easily. Yeah. This could have been anybody. And even though we started the expired podcast knowing and fully prepared to like dive into cold cases in and around our area. I, in my lifetime, I don't know of of something like this happening. I know. Like, this has been nuts and scary. Very scary. Mm -hmm. Because it could literally, I mean, these could be our friends. These could be our family members. This could be, I mean, our next door neighbor. It could be anybody. So let's get into it. Jasmine Pace. Jasmine Pace. Um also known as Jazzy. Yeah. That's what a lot of her friends and family called her. Um, She is a 22-year-old girl who was a student at Chattanooga State, which is where I went to school, where he went to school. Yep. Um, And all around, I didn't know her personally, but have mutual friends as her, and I'm sure you do too. Mm -hmm. All around, a very normal normal girl but like very well liked very um like kind of like friends with everyone yeah yeah like i feel like everyone who has come across her at any time in their life there's nothing but positive things things. Yeah. yeah um very sweet girl so um unfortunately on was a november 23rd uh, right. Yeah. No. That's no. when she was reported. So it was the day before. November twenty second was the last time that she was seen alive. She was leaving her parents' house, which is you told me this. I hadn't even read this. Yeah, she was with um, spending time with her family, her mom, her sister, um, other family members, probably some family friends. Um, but her grandmother, I believe, had passed away, and. One of the interviews that I saw with um, some of her family was that the last thing that she made a point to say, and I think it really speaks to her character, Mm -hmm. is that even though they were grieving this loss, the last thing that she really made a point to say is we all still have to get together and celebrate Thanksgiving Mm -hmm. because that's what she she would want us to do. We have to do that. Um, And losing a grandparent earlier this year to think and to go about it in a way that's like so selfless and that you're thinking of what they would want the family to do and they would want 
us to still get together and celebrate. Mm-hmm. I just feel like it's so wise. Yeah. And, and I don't know, like she was literally, I just think of it as like, she's thinking of what would be good for everyone. And it would be for all of us to still be together and not be sad mm. over this holiday. Um, so she leaves there and, um, goes to see a friend slash boyfriend, um, that she had been seeing for a little while, goes to his apartment and that's basically the last con like contact that's for sure from her, mm-hmm. um, that they told us. Yeah. She was seen on her parents' security camera leaving to go to Jason Chen's house or apartment um, and uh, presumably for comfort. Her grandparent just died. Yeah. A- apparently, according to phone records, she had talked to him on the phone for over an hour that day. Mm-hmm. I can only imagine that it had a, a little bit to do with what she was going through. Absolutely. Um, and she had met Jason Chen on a dating app i know which should scare every single woman on a dating app for the rest of their life in this area yes in anywhere anywhere yeah Mm -hmm. because he was actually a college student too yeah he went to utc just down the road yeah um and he was i think his mom said he was studying computers so i don't know if it's like software or tech like I'm not sure like what what exactly it was but um he was also 22 years old so you mentioned 22 is going to be a big number in this case yeah 22 or the number two is everywhere yeah in this case which I'm weird and I like pay attention to stuff like that but you pointed that out I would have never the number two is everywhere Mm. in this case it's everywhere um, especially 22, but yeah, uh, just, just a note that I keep in my mind mm-hmm. because stuff like that does mean something to me, mm-hmm. but, um, so Jason Chin, he's also 22. Mm-hmm. He's a UTC student. He lives at the Tremont street apartments. He lives in 201. Um, and he was born in New York. He was raised for the first four years of his life in China with his grandparents. I'm mm-hmm. not sure why. Like, I've never heard why. Um, I honestly think that that's a common. So, my oh. best friend Raj, uh-huh. um, his parents moved here from India. And when they had their his older sister, uh-huh. and when he was born, his older sister went back to India to live with their grandparents. Uh-huh for a few years until Raj was a, a little older and then she they brought okay. her back. So I think it's more or less they don't want they want Overwhelmed. they want to make sure that they're leaving their kids with someone that they trust. Right. I I would as, assume that it's the same sim it's a similar it's a situation. Thing. Okay. Yes. And well, it's just they can't really they don't know if they can trust people here. So Okay. That's very interesting. Usually never... because they don't speak English. Right. His um, mother doesn't speak English right. now. And so she's there's lived a lot. here for, if he moved back to Tennessee when he was four and he's 22. 18 years. Wow. Yeah. It's a long time to live in a country where you don't speak the language. Yeah. Yeah. So I would wow. imagine, I'm presuming that that is just a similar, um, it's easier, probably financially, um, less of a burden. Mm-hmm. And you're comfortable and feel safe knowing that your child is somewhere with people you know will care for them mm-hmm. properly. Mm-hmm. Um, and they might not have that here. So that's that's what I make of it. I don't know if that is the case. I have no idea. That's yeah. just my, my thinking, um, knowing and that from my friend's experience. Yeah, that's really interesting. You s- mentioned, what did you mention about him? Um, Crap, I just lost my train of thought. You mentioned. Was it about. um, Were we going to talk about people that used to know him or were we going to talk about that? Okay. The the 
girl on the news. Yeah. Who was so, like friends with him in middle school or something. Yeah. There were people that lived, some of the people that lived in the same apartment complex as him. And then some people that knew him um, earlier on. So like in middle school, stuff like that. Um, they've all kind of started coming forward as this has kind of went all the way to like national news I know. and coverage. Um, but basically kind of just putting out there that they thought he was odd, that he did odd things, some sketchy things. Um, he was like really into like stealing people's identities online. Yeah. Almost like catfish. catfish. Yeah. And um, stealing people's phones. Yeah. Uh, pretending to be someone else, like making a fake account, pretending to be someone else to start a conversation or reach out to someone completely separate from the person that uh-huh. he's acting like. And um, he admitted it. Mm-hmm. He was like, yeah, that's me. I was- there, There's actually a guy on you. I haven't showed you this. There's a guy who literally posts after this went viral, mm-hmm. this whole case. He went on, um, made a video telling people, like, y'all are sharing photos of me. That's not him. He just stole those photos of me. Oh, my God. Yeah. it's And there were many of them. And the guy, like, he literally goes to, like, screenshots and, like, proof of what, when he posted that uh-huh. in, say, 2016. And then, and then in 2018, Jason Chen posted it. Claiming it to be pretending him. Pretending to be yeah. him. I don't get what people get out of that. I I can't. We would need a psychologist. I can't we need even to call begin me. to understand. You have, you have connection to MTV. I do. I might, I might we should call, call him should and call ask him, like, him why do people, why do, people do, this? do this? Yeah. Because it's not, not like idea. he's not. And you, oh, this is what I was going to say a minute ago. You said he was rich, right? He comes I, from money but, or... Yes, I heard that somewhere. I also read it somewhere. I'm, I have not fact-checked that, mm-hmm. but... He lives at on he the lives North Shore. In these goes apartments, to UTC. It, yes, these apartments that he lived in, y'all. Mm, so nice. I'm not sure there's another college student that lives in there, first of all. 100%. Like, they are high-dollar yeah. apartments. I mean, like, prime time apartment complex like single Um, attorney yeah you know what i mean like yeah single doctor yeah people like people like that live they're not cheap yeah they're right on the tennessee river with the best view yeah i mean with all the things downtown Mm -hmm. has to offer right there super nice new very new i mean they're not cheap Mm -hmm. arguably maybe the most expensive apartment complex in Chattanooga and the surrounding area. Probably. Yeah. Because it's just beautiful out there mm-hmm. and everyone wants to live there. So it makes sense. That and walking distance to anything and everything. Anything and everything. Yeah. So, but yes, I did hear and read that he did have a wealthy family. Hmm. So. And his, so he was arrested on December 1st. Yes, so Which one week like, later, mm-hmm. after the last time she was seen, she was a missing person, obviously, and everything was, like, literally going full circuit around town for people to, you know, be on the lookout, yes. let anyone know if you've seen her, heard from her, whatever. Um, a week later, he and over the course of these few days, it was also, like, if you've seen this man. Yeah. Please let us know. We are looking for him. It's her boyfriend or like they've been dating each other, seeing each other. They were friends, whatever. Um, We are looking for him because that's her last known location. Mm -hmm. So a week later, he is arrested, but he's not arrested in Chattanooga. He's arrested in Nolansville, Tennessee, which is like middle Tennessee area where his parents live. Yes. And so he ran home. Mm-hmm. And he was, uh, he he had also apparently, there's security footage, I forgot about to tell you this uh-huh. too, there's security footage of him going to the Nashville airport, but there were no plane tickets bought. Uh, I wonder why. He's I just almost, like the most stupid criminal I think 
He's yes, everything is very random. Yeah, very random and not um, well thought. No, no, not at all. Um, he's not the mastermind that I think he thinks he is. That's my thing. I think he's so arrogant. He think, yes, I think he thinks he's so intelligent, and I'm like, no, mm-hmm. actually, you're you're hateful and stupid. Yeah, like and. It, is it okay? So if he's in computers, I wonder if have you heard anything about his cell phone records, like no. being used or because we know that he pretended to be Jazzy. There we live in Choo Choo City. <laughs> he pretended the to be Choo Choo is here. Yes, it is. So he pretended to be her. Yes, and he like sent messages to Jasmine's mom and sister. Saying, hey, I'm going to go to North Carolina and visit my friend. I think it was South Carolina for Thanksgiving. Yeah. And she, yes. After she had just made a point to say the family still needs to get together. Yeah. That's what our grandmother would want. Right. Um, She says, so you might not hear from me for a couple days, which was also not like Mm -mm. her, according to the people who knew her best say. Um, Then... Basically, the friend comes forward and is like, uh, like she sees that Jasmine posted something on Facebook or Snapchat or something. like, And it was old. Hanging out with my friend or whatever, visiting with friends for Thanksgiving. And the friend sees it and she's like, that's very old because in that video or in the photos that were posted... She didn't have her tattoos uh-huh. that she's had for a while. Yeah. Um, and so then the friend starts thinking, Actually. like, what is going on? Mm-hmm. All of this for everyone to find out that the friend, in fact, does not live in South Carolina or North Carolina. She actually lives in Kentucky. And there were never any plans or any discussion of Jasmine visiting her over the holidays. Right. Like, at all. So, again... Stupid. Not smart. Um, and I don't. How do you just come up with this random stuff? Like that's I don't weird. Know. It's and weird. not like like even that's if the you part were dating I'm, for two months. But that's the part where I'm like, this could be premeditated because how do you just randomly choose a friend? You know, like maybe mm-hmm. Jasmine had said, "Hey, I was just talking to my friend who lives in Kentucky." Blah, blah, blah. We were thinking of going to South Carolina for a concert or something like that, you know? Mm-hmm. And it's like, wonder if he was thinking, okay, well, I can tell the family, family or, and I can pretend like I'm her and say I'm going to visit my friend in South Like, he gets everything wrong. Uh-huh. You get what I'm saying? Like, yeah. There's just, I don't know. Ugh, it's a, it just, all of it makes me sick. Um, I know. So, a few days later, I, like, after... She is missing. Her family is searching, kind of doing their own thing. The whole city, really. Oh, everyone. Everyone. I was in the middle of the ocean Mm -hmm. and I knew about it. Everyone was talking about it. Everyone was looking for her. I mean, there were updates every day. Mm -hmm. I feel like, I will say, I feel like her family and loved ones did a very good job. Yes, they did. Of making sure that her face, her her face, her story, the people that knew her, were friends with her, had seen her, were at the top of any social media feed Mm -hmm. that you could get on. I feel like if that, that, maybe this is why I feel so close to her Mm -hmm. is because I know if that, happen to me that's what my family and friends would do yeah and that just gives me chills you know yeah anyway so she was her car was found um about a 12 minute drive from jason chin's apartment it was found at the signal view apartments on mountain creek road um there's a neighbor's surveillance that catches chin leaving the apartment alone Mm -hmm. wearing a scarf around his head and sunglasses yep not suspicious at all let me just right so and there's also surveillance at the signal view apartments of her car and someone dressed dressed in exactly same clothes exactly and walks off which is a 12 minute drive so it would be easy for him to walk back or get an uber or right 
get back quickly. I would imagine he probably walked because if he had Ubered, I think they might have record of that already. Um, but he's so stupid. I would, wouldn't put Very it past true. him. Very true. Oh, he so could have used her phone to get the Uber, Uber as well. Mm -hmm. To make it look like she was... Mm -hmm. I think we're going to get more and more information about this. I as... do too, because just the amount of information that they was shared at the hearing uh -huh. that had not been leaked mm -hmm. at all mm -hmm. was a lot. Yeah. Um, I mean, we didn't, we were just told he was being charged with murder. We never were told she's been found. There's a, or we yeah. were never told there's a body found. There was a, like, it was that just like there was evidence of a, a crime yeah a physical crime that was committed like nothing it was she's missing we're looking for her but we're also looking for this guy and then all of a sudden he's been arrested and charged with um felony homicide yeah which shocked me when i first because it was breaking news and i'm like why would they be charging him with homicide if she's still missing mm -hmm. we don't how are they charging him with that? We don't know. know what happened. Yeah. But apparently it was because of all the evidence that they found in his apartment. There was blood all over the living room, master bedroom, and bathroom. bathroom. And apparently. Cleaned. Tried to clean. They knew that the last place that she was, was his apartment because at like 2. 15. Again, 2. I know. 2.15 in the morning on the 23rd, she shared her location she dropped a pin to her mom yep and that was the only thing she had she said to her mom nothing else mm -hmm. just just sent her dropped location. a pin to her mom which was also a very intelligent thing to do that's exactly what i would do in a crisis moment like that's very good on her part to think yes to do to that. do that mm -hmm. um then there were also people that live in the apartments around mm -hmm. him. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I have a message from uh, some expired listeners. I'll pull that up while you tell this part. Okay. So there were um, multiple people who also live in the apartment complex that he lives in that um, heard things that sounded like things being dropped, you know, like say a vase or a picture or mm. something like big Loud. objects being dropped on the floor as well as a consistent female scream and this was just minutes after she sent the pin she sent mom. the pin at 2 15 so you know that's crazy it is crazy so so a neighbor actually called the police mm -hmm. which this makes me so infuriated the police go to the apartment they knock on 201 and because no one answers because why would you one i know <laughs> twos are all well, over this i know i About know to get some tarot cards out for real uh -huh. well um they just left they can't i guess there's the there's, way that the law works yeah. they can try to make contact but if there's no proof of anyone being there mm -hmm. or any um any proof is like maybe if they had heard gunshots or something like that maybe mm -hmm. it changes but um basically the the rules are that they if they can't make contact there's really nothing they can do about it mm -hmm. and i'm just thinking like uh break down the door and go inside yeah get like, the manager figure it out yeah don't leave until you see someone because if someone calls saying they have heard a woman screaming there's consistently there's something obviously traumatic happening yes hello yeah so this person wrote in and said a friend's manager lives under jason chin's apartment apparently on the night of the murder jason listened to this song 18 consecutive times after the murder and the song is He's opening Spotify. I don't have Spotify. The song is Stay the Same. I wonder if they could hear that song. He clearly had it turned up. Super loud. Super loud. But 18 times in a row. And the. It's called Stay the Same? Yeah. 
Say the same by web player. Is that right? Let me look it up. I don't know, but I'm going to listen to it because I want to know what it says. That's crazy, too. Who listens to a song that many times? I don't know. At that hour. Uh, apparently, they think it was because he was cleaning up. But I don't know why he would listen to that song over and over and over. I think this is it. I think it's NBA Young Boy, Stay the Same. Hmm. Is this an ad? <laughs> I was like, that's not it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is it. It's all about dying. Oh my gosh. This is like a playlist oh for exactly what God. happened. Oh, yes. I never listened to the song. Me either. Holy. What is it? Take it to another level. Go and buy another Another bill. Bill, bill, bill. No. That's weird. I'm shook. Me? That's two. That is insane. So. That's wild. Just the fact that that was so authentic, but both of us just like, oh my God. Oh my gosh. I was not expecting that. No, I wasn't either. I wasn't either. Basically, the song is the person who wrote it or who's singing it is mad and is hurt by someone else and a female yes and that just goes to speak to his character talks about what they're going to do yeah to oh my gosh that's crazy that was a really good tip so <sighs> y'all we just <laughs> both of us just had a heart attack like, oh my god <laughs> that is just crazy to me oh my gosh okay so wow um Let's talk about her injuries. She was found in plastic bags in a four-wheeled suitcase by the Tennessee River. Yes, just probably a mile, maybe two, away from where her car was. And also kind of like similar, like we're talking 10 minutes down the road from like his apartment. Mm -hmm. Where her car was found, that apartment complex, and, and then body. the road that that is literally it goes parallel to the Tennessee River, mm-hmm. um, and she was shackled. So she had one hand shackled to one ankle, mm-hmm. and she was in the fetal position. Mm-hmm. And, and we think that that's because he wanted to keep her body tight to keep it to like make together, it easier to, to move. move. Yeah, because why would you shackle someone if and they and she had 60 stab wounds, which I think says a lot. It says too much. Oh, I mean, like 60. Her part wounds. of part of this the knife that was used was found 2 inches deep into her chest cavity and it had broken off. Mhm. Most of her wounds too were her chest, neck, face, shoulders, like top of her back and then also like her lower back and like butt area. And I was like, why would that happen? Like, why would he stab her like in her, you know, lower thigh or butt? And yeah. you made a compelling I, argument. Yeah, I feel like that could be like she might have been trying to get away. Like crawling away. Crawling away. Because she did have and a lot on her wounds. hands, yeah. yeah, hands, a lot of wounds on her hands and like right here, mm-hmm. um, defensive wounds. So it's 
been made very clear and that it's obvious that she put up a hell of a fight. 100. Um, but, oh, 60 wounds. That would be exhausting. I mean, I can't. That that says so much to me. 60 wounds. I don't know anyone in my life that could upset me that much, let alone knowing someone for two months. Like, if I had known someone for two months, there's nothing in the world that they could do to piss me off that much. Yeah. To, like, lose it or snap. That's or... what, there's got to be other, I mean, I feel like things are going to kind of start coming out of the woodwork here about maybe previous situations or instances or behaviors and things because for me this whole situation just screams like evil i know evil like not 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 uh something heartbreaking happened or like intoxication or something happened and it was like an accident mm. and and it that wasn't what was supposed to happen, mm -hmm. you know, whatever. Like, all of this just screams evil. Evil. Like, like I feel like there's going to be other things that are going to come come to the surface of, like, past and previous. I want to, like, hear from his ex-girlfriends or, like, people who, like, Maybe have really known or, him or seen. Yeah. Or been a victim of either the like catfishing mm -hmm. or <sighs> because I got another message from um, a listener saying that uh, this guy and it might be the same guy you were telling me about Jason Chin like stole all of his information and was posting about him or posting as him like tried to get him fired from his job that's what this person said but just like a <sighs> psychopath like yeah. just can't. Yeah, it's very um, scary. And it makes me think of, like, people in high school that, like, I thought were weird or off. Mm -hmm. And that could could have easily. Yeah. Oh, it's just so scary yeah. to think about. Oh, my gosh. Um, what are the, the other few things that we have not touched on that we know? I still can't get over that song. I know. I really can't. That's probably um, that freeze frame of both of us jaws yeah. on the floor is going to be the cover. Yeah. Um, oh, one thing we didn't touch on was, or like really go into detail about, but there's security footage and it was also found in his apartment that he went to um, Walgreens down the yes. road, like just I at know the corner. Walgreens. Yeah, me too. I've been in there. I know. Like a lot. I know. Um, went there two different times. Yeah. Purchased alcohol, alcohol peroxide, mm -hmm. gloves, paper, um, towels. paper towels, cleaning products. Yeah. And he went there once, got a whole bunch of this stuff, went back to his apartment per the security footage, and then I feel like a few hours later mm -hmm. went back again mm -hmm. for all of the same things yeah. and then went back to his apartment again. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I've got three kids and a husband and two dogs and there is no reason why I have to go to Walgreens Twice. two times for those supplies. No. Unless. Right. You I mean, are cleaning up literally something awful. Like, there's no there's no way that you would need that much of that for a single guy that lives in an apartment. Mm -hmm. It doesn't make sense. No. At all. No. And much less need it in the same day. Yeah. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Doesn't make sense at all. Um, there were also different things, I think, that were like he was doing on her phone for the day or two after mm -hmm. when her family was like looking for her and like, we haven't heard from her and that's weird because they never even went. I don't, from what I understand, they, she wouldn't go a day without talking to her mom or her sister. Right. Yeah. Um, or her dad, like just her family. 
So just the, all of that. And I think what he was doing to like try and cover, Mm -hmm. cover things up. They don't add up with her normal patterns and normal behavior. Mm -hmm. Um, Yeah, this is a lot. And I'm still stuck on that song. I cannot believe that that song, the lyrics say what they say. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. All right. So he was arrested in early December. It was just last week that he was in court. He was given bond. It's five million dollars. Which at first I could I was like, Yeah, he'll never be able to get that. But then I you told me he Yeah, may I come read from money. heard somewhere that he comes from a wealthy family, which does make sense considering he's a college student that lives in that apartment mm-hmm. complex like that those apartments are so expensive mm-hmm. they're like they're more i mean most apartments actually are more than a mortgage mm-hmm. but this is like unreasonably yeah, yeah. high thousands yes I'm sure for like a one bedroom mm-hmm. maybe two mm-hmm. apartment like it, prime time mm-hmm. that's like prime rental real estate mm-hmm. there's like who's paying for that mommy and daddy Probably. Mm-hmm. I want to figure out what they do, and I'm sure that will come out. Yeah, I'm sure it will, too. I do know that she, like, the mom, Jason Chen's mom, like, begged the judge for the bond and was like, I promise, no matter what, I'll make sure he's at all court appointments, blah, 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 this mm-hmm. and that. But I'm just like, I don't, I'm not sure that she understands the magnitude of Number one, what has happened, but number two, already kind of like the overwhelming, some circumstantial, but I'm pretty sure there's a lot more that's actual, like fact evidence. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't think she understands the magnitude of what's going on because even in court, like she had to have a translator. Mm -hmm. It was, it, it just seems like, I think she might be in shock too obviously like i mean that's a a reasonable Mm -hmm. reason to to be in shock but it's just i don't agree with him getting bond whatsoever right at all and he's still in jail he's at the silverdale facility and that's like one of the it's it's not a good it's not a good jail it's not a good jail i mean i've never been there not sure that there are jails that are good, yeah. but I know that there are some that are worse than others, mm-hmm. and Silverdale happens to be one of those. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's where he'll wait. Um, the next court hearing is February 16th. Yep. I plan on being there at 9 a.m. at the courthouse. It's going to be packed. Oh, I bet it is going to be packed. We're going to have to get there at like 7 a.m. We might need to take our tent. <laughs> <laughs> That's and we'll literally do. camp out. <laughs> but we'll I'm go live when we that. do that. Yes. <laughs> Man, this <gasps> one is just nuts. Um, I do also want to share, like, before we go, that just having mutual friends and stuff, I feel like being from this area, we have kind of gotten, like, information and, like, firsthand information before it's even really, like, released via the news Probably. and stuff. Um, but... Her family and friends have shared that there was some sort of GoFundMe page that mm-hmm. was created mm-hmm. that has that has nothing to do with her family, her friends. So I'm not sure what the GoFundMe page is, but if you see one that's related to this, um, most definitely quadruple check mm-hmm. to make sure that it is in fact um legitimate family um because when they said that one was created and it wasn't them they had they did not mention that they're that they had created one or planned on creating one Mm -hmm. so um i don't want to say that there's not one that they like that they don't have one but just make make sure that it is a legitimate um page yes um and I I hope we do this case justice yeah. because it's just like right in our backyard 
And I feel like so many people that I know really did know her. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm still just like mind blown by it all, honestly. That song, man. Um, hopefully we can maybe get in touch with some of her family or close, close friends. I know that the family put out um, that they just need some time, time. Yeah. and some space. I mean, could you imagine, like, that her parents lost a parent and a child the in, day. like, 24 hours? Yeah. I mean, I, I can't imagine. I can't imagine either. At all. And um, really quickly, I did want to say, uh, mention this because I found it interesting. Jason Chin said that he wishes he would have killed himself. Mm -hmm. And I just thought, okay, well, obviously that's guilt. But then you were like, why would he say that if he didn't do it? If you didn't kill anyone, why would you say it? I feel like I've heard and, um, different, two different things have been reported. One was that he said, I wish I would have killed myself too, Mm -hmm. or like as well. Mm -hmm. And then the other one being that he said something along the lines of when he was being arrested um, or questioned, I think, by his mom. Mm -hmm. Um, But I wish I would have killed myself. And I'm like, whether you said killed myself as well or too, or just I wish I would have killed myself, why would you say that if you didn't kill someone? Mm That doesn't make and he's just sense. and he's playing like stupid. Like he's like, no, I didn't do this. Like, yeah. How how do you think? Do you think we're all as stupid as you? Yeah, it's insulting. It is insulting. Like, I'm not an idiot, thank yeah. you. But just uh, all the love to her family, definitely. Mm-hmm. Um, and we'll continue to follow the case and get yes. updates as much as possible. Definitely, and hopefully we can get in the court mm-hmm. when his hearing is. But um, yeah, we'll keep y'all updated on that. And we have another episode coming soon for a different case. Hopefully, our area we don't have any new current mm-hmm. things that happen, so that we can look at cover other stuff. cold cases and. Um, Maybe bring new perspective, but um, yeah. Way to go to her family and her friends for, I mean, I think that they are the reason that this went so national. 100%. Ugh. Yeah, maybe we can be um, a place where they you know they can just like email message mm-hmm. and say, Hey, this is something we want people to know, or hey, yeah. we want to make sure that this is out there and factual or mm-hmm. whatever. And it can be a place where they, if they want to share something, they don't have to worry about it being misconstrued or pulled and and altered for popularity. Right. Um, but we will keep y'all updated mm-hmm. as we learn more and um Again, this is expired podcast. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> because I'm like, I can't believe on the first one we just totally forgot to say like anything about expired podcast. This is the expired podcast. So now I'm going to just be like extra about it. <laughs> <laughs>